hi you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new year here um yeah so we're finally going to start at least i guess prepping to build my pc we're going to open up all our parts and go about as far as we can now this would be my first pc build and this is also not like an instruction video or anything i'm literally following along somebody else's video so i'll link their video in the description i bought mostly the same pieces as he did in his video but there's a couple things that are not the same and my pc part picker in the description but i'll go over everything i have my power supply is a 600 watt bronze power we got the gpu is a msi geforce gtx 1660 ti and it's the one that has the i'm trying to try not to get the ring light in there but it's the one that has the rgb my motherboard is a b4 um b450 tomahawk max cpu is the ryzen 5 3600 i have a 500 gigabyte sd card and it's the black version of it of the western digital um, 16 gig kit for ram and it's the pro vengeance one with the rgb let me see if i can move this out the way so i can show you guys my case that is still in the box but we're going to go ahead and open it really quick i didn't show this but i also got some um additional fans some rgb fans is the lighting i think my light is too high okay maybe that'll help it focus a little bit but we have the cool master that doesn't sound good we got some cable extensions and some fan splitters I hope I have all my pieces. I think I do, but let's go ahead and get this case opened. I already feel like I'm just all over the place because this is my first PC build and I'm kind of like nervous. I'm a little bit on edge, but I'm kind of, I'm excited to start the process. Right now I'm sitting in my kitchen table against the wall because it's the only like clean area that i have so that's why i'm kind of cramped over here let's go ahead and get this box open so the case that i went with is the cool master uh master case h500 ar argb now i haven't opened it up since i got it so i hope it's not broken or anything I'm like stuck i hope it's not broken or anything let me raise you guys up a little bit okay let's just use this screwdriver because i don't have a knife or anything over here near me oh geez i should have had a i need a box cutter and i'm stuck all right i'm gonna go underneath the table oh. Also, my hoodie, my aunt made me a hoodie and it says sneaky sneaky. And on the back, I know there's a little stain because I touched something I probably shouldn't have, but it says sneak mode activated and it has the glittery font. I don't really know if the glitter is even showing, but can you see my hoodie? <sighs> yeah, my aunt made it. I'll link, I'll go ahead and link her website in the description too. I don't know if she has this uh, shirt this hoodie specifically on there, but if she doesn't I'll let her know I have no idea how to get this out the box Get out the box without breaking a nail as well it wouldn't be right if my battery wasn't flashing <sighs> this seems like a big boy but it's pretty 
Okay, this is the front. The front. It has two RGB fans and the glass and a glass door on the side. How do you open it? Oh, you have to unscrew it to open it, but there we go. Charge the camera a little bit. I think we got some juice. We're good now. All right, I'm ready to start on this build. I feel like I've been putting it off long enough and let's get it done. We got the case finally out of the box and we have all our pieces and I'm gonna pull up my walkthrough and we're gonna put this bad boy together. I don't even know where to start, but I guess we should start with the motherboard. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my walkthrough and my motherboard. I've never even touched one of these before. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm like, I feel so nervous. Okay, what is all this? Alright, so I just got the CPU added and it took me, um, for whatever reason, I couldn't get the screws in right. I think I was just scared to apply pressure, but I applied it and we're good now. So now we're adding the memory and they have a little RGB on them. I don't like that they have the little ridge. Let's see if it focus. It's focusing on the one behind, but you see it has that little dip. I wish it was just one piece. Moving on to storage. And I went with the black one because it just would look good in my all black case because the, I did, I started out with like the white and blue Western digital SSD card, but then I saw this one. And then I'm also, um, I don't have it yet, but I'm gonna get, also get the black version for storage for like when I do buy, finally buy games and things. For right now, I'm only gonna be playing, like connecting my Switch. I feel like my face is starting to get red, or at least it feels like a little warm. I guess it looks okay. <sighs> but it's time for me to put the motherboard in the in the case. So I'm moving everything out the way so I can get the case laid out and clear off some of this junk that I have just sitting here in the way. Okay, I'm back. And I had to go ahead and take the hoodie off and put my hair up because it was getting hot and my nose was turning to turn red because I was so warm and super stressed. So we're back and put this somewhere where I won't drop it or something. And I'm putting the, I guess this is called a IO shield. Putting my IO shield in the back. Okay, so I have all I have my motherboard secured into uh, the case now. So moving on. At first, at first I was putting the wrong screws in, but we made it here now. My camera is flashing again. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna let it charge for a second, and I'm gonna take the power supply out of the box, and I'll be right back. The power supply is in and these are the screws that came with the power supply that you can't see. I'm screwing those in now. You guys, my back is crying out for mercy right now. Hope I didn't put that back on prematurely. 
I really like this case. I like that it hides the power supply and then when I get my storage, it has two little slots for it and it hides them in there like little trays. I think that is so special. I really like that. All right, so I'm putting the cable extenders on there. All right, I'm back sitting down and I have the extensions attached now. Mine already has the combs on them and I will be doing some better management of them. Have my extra fans. My gosh, my workstation is getting kind of crazy because there's just so many things. But honestly, it's only 8.30 for me, so it's not even that late. It just, I was getting confused on which extender cables went to what but it seems like the extensions only connect to the correct cord so i just have to keep figuring it out until one of the cords fit in the box the case already has two rgb fans in the front but i want to install two on the top and then um one in the back all right I uh, want to go ahead and show this before I mount the camera, but we have our new fan and then the other two fans mounted. So we have both of the RGB fans mounted. So we're going to have a total of five. The two that it comes with, the two big ones, and then these three smaller ones. Uh, I hope I have them in the right direction. I'm pretty sure I do, but fingers crossed. And now we're plugging up cables. I wanted to keep my cords as organized as possible. I still have a couple cords back here that aren't plugged into anything, so I'm a little confused as to what they're for, but I guess I will cross that bridge when I get there. Okay, so we're still at it. I think I have all my fans plugged up, and now we're moving on to the power supply cable. Uh... And it's going to be the one that goes up here on the top. I don't know if you can even see that, but yeah, it's like this one right here. Can't see it, but yeah, I'm plugging something up there. <sighs> Honestly, these cables are stressing me out. They're not like crazy hard, but they're like not labeled the same. I feel like the issue is that I didn't buy exactly everything that he bought. So some of my cords are different. Than what he has so i'm like staring at things trying to figure things out but i'm getting there i'm getting there <sighs> guys i'm still sitting here trying to get make sure these cords are all plugged up correctly and I don't know I'm like watching different videos trying to see what everybody else is doing because I'm using a different case than um, the guy that I'm watching so I'm watching different things to see what he's doing but it's graphics card time it's so late like I still haven't even edited a video to go up for tomorrow and I have so many just things sitting out. Got another graphics card. Interesting. If you could see my floor right now. Okay, play hard, stay silent, remove before gaming. Looking pretty good. It's definitely a good size you guys all I want is for everything to turn on the co the every the cables in the back are confusing me so bad because there's just so many cables back there I don't know why I keep wanting to do it this way. It's obviously this way. And I'm just gonna chuck it into place. 
I honestly don't feel like all my cords are plugged in. I don't feel like I should put this in, and, and there's still stickers on here. Um, I don't feel like I should put this in until I make sure all my bottom pins are plugged in because once I pull, once I um, plug in my graphics card, I'm not gonna have access to this like bottom row down here because the graphics card is gonna cover all that. So I'm gonna go back and figure out what cords I'm missing because I know this set is pretty important. It literally says power, um, HDD, reset, power e LED, like these cords are important. So I need to figure out where this is supposed to go and I'll be right back. I need to figure this out. I'm right back. <laughs> All right, guys, I actually opened up the manual for this thing and it tells you where to plug these cords. So freaking read the manual. It'll save your life. All right, so my HD LED, that's this. Plus and minus go in. Not that you can even see. Like, it's so dark. You're probably not going to be able to see what I'm doing in here at all. I can barely see what I'm in here doing myself. Okay, that one's in. Oh my gosh, this would be so much easier if I didn't have nails. Like it's so hard to get these tiny little pieces. Okay, I almost had it. Okay, now my front panel. Those cords I just plugged in were for like this front panel. I knew they were pretty important. I'm like, I need to get these in here, but I don't, I can't figure out how to do it. So those are all in. It li literally shows you everything. It even shows you where to put the power supply. I'm sitting here watching a video when I could just read the manual. That's so interesting. Okay. Now I feel like I can put in my graphics card. Graphics card is in. And this is the cable for it. Okay. Screw back in that piece I took out. Look at that. Let's pull that cord back out. Oh, and it turns out my graphics card went up a little higher than I thought. I thought it was going down here in this clip, and that's why I was so concerned about those cords before I did anything, but it looks like I still would have had access to them anyway. So I was being dramatic for no reason. Okay. I am so excited. Like I'm gonna turn this around. All the guts are basically in there. There's a couple things I guess I can go back in and make sure is installed correctly. What just came out? Oh my gosh, one of my little cables just came out. I'm gonna put that back in, but I think that I'm gonna call it for today and I'm gonna be back to, I'm gonna be back tomorrow and we're gonna finish this again because I have work in the morning. So we're gonna be back and see you in the next clip. Okay, so I just realized that I could possibly plug this up and if it turns on, that means I have everything plugged up correctly. <sighs> I am gonna plug it up and see what happens. We're gonna flip the switch and turn on the power button. Oh, did I do something wrong? Which one's the power button? It's not turning on. I don't know what's wrong. Okay, so I'm back and it is the next day. I could not figure out what was going on with my power and I was struggling because I could hear the power supply turning on, but, uh, but nothing was lighting up and I was getting upset. So I had to, I went to Micro Center, let them look at it just to make sure that I hadn't blown my motherboard, nothing was in here fried. Um, turns out I had my USB in the wrong port and I had the, the buttons in the front. Um, I don't want to move this thing, but the cables, like the pat on and everything, I had those in the wrong spot. So, And it's so stupid because if I looked at the manual, it literally tells you 
what ports you're supposed to plug everything into but i was looking at the wrong thing i was looking at pictures and trying to compare pictures versus the actual names by the section so my fans are not plugged in yet but i just wanted to make sure that my power supply i mean that um, everything else lights up before i move on to my fans okay let's press the power button Okay, I'm about to cut it off and do something with my fans. I have to go ahead and get these connected, but I'm so excited. I love it. Okay, I'll be right back. For sure was not expecting this boy to be so big and heavy. This is a heavy boy. I hope my actual desk is big enough for it, because if not, I guess I'll have to get a new desk. Wasn't trying to but I might have to. And the guy at Micro Center, all he did was first plug it up to verify that it did not turn on like I was saying. And then he looked at it and was like, oh, you have this wrong, you have this wrong. And all I had wrong was the power, like the front power supply, uh, the front connectors, I had that wrong. And then I had my USB ports wrong. Other than that, I didn't have anything else wrong. That was a pretty good feeling, knowing I didn't fudge it up too bad. All right, let's see if I can figure out the fans because the fans were stressing me out too, but one, two, three. Okay, this is an extender, super confused. All right, I gotta start plugging stuff into stuff. All right, let's see if the fans spin. Okay, I see three out of the five, hold on. Yeah, I see three out of the five uh, fans spinning. So we got the two, both of the top fans are spinning and the bottom fan in the front are spinning, but the second front fan and the back fan are not spinning. So I am doing something wrong. And I also do not have the RGB connected for the fans. So let me see what's going on with that. So we have all five fans now spinning. I just got to figure out how to get the RGB to work on them. I'm so excited, you guys. Last night when I ended the video, I was so stressed out because I could not figure out what was wrong, why I wasn't acting right, to the point where when I went to sleep, I... Is my hair getting in this fan? It is to the point where my dreams was basically me getting this set up. Like I dreamed all night about my PC. It was the most stressful sleep of my life, but we're here now. Let me figure out the, um, I need to read the manuals. I need to figure out what's going on with my fans and why they aren't lighting up. Cause I think I'm supposed to connect the lights to something else like this right here but I don't know what this goes into once it's plugged up. Okay, so it looks like I plug all my lights up into this, but then from there, I need to figure out where they go. <laughs> okay, now you could probably hear the fans spinning because I don't have the case on it to keep the wind from blowing. So hopefully it's not shaking to the camera. But it took me a little while to figure out how to get my lights to light up, but I figured it out. And right now I'm gonna connect one. I think it's gonna be this back one and I'll show you light, show you it lighting up. Uh, where is that? Okay, here we go. Oh, it's the top one. Do you see the top one lit up? Ah, all right, let's line up the rest of them. There we go, we got the back one. 
All right, that's another top one. All right, we gotta get this other light going. Do you guys see how gorgeous this is? Let me spin it around so you can see the inside of it. You don't even know how excited I am. Like, I am so happy. That's all my cords. Everything is connected. And honestly, I'm going to leave it as the, just the sink. I like, I like exactly how it is now. If anything, I'll probably get a extra like light strip to go like underneath here to get the more colors going. I'm going to throw in my Funko Pop and we're going to put the shield back on it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put the, let's see it'll focus, the Hello Kitty DIY Funko in there, just so that the lights will reflect off of her, I'm hoping. Oh, she's so little. I wasn't expecting her to be so tiny. But I was hoping that if she was in here, the lights would reflect off of her really nice. But I don't know, I have so much space in here. I feel like I could put so much more stuff in here. Huh, like, I could even put her up here. I have so much room in my case. Do I need more Funkos? Does she look cute here? Down here? Right here? Oh, like her there. Oh, how'd that happen? Or like right here? Hmm. Hmm. So many decisions. I'm gonna put her right there for now because that's such a big open like space with nothing there. But I'm, I got this Gorilla Glue double-sided tape. Let's go ahead and tape her down. And then we're going to put the case, uh, put the um, glass back on it and peel it. <sighs> there we go. Okay. Now we're gonna peel off You guys, I can't even stop looking at it. It's so gorgeous. I love it. Like, my lips are so dry. Excuse that. But just, just the fact that I was able to do something like this on my own makes me feel so accomplished. And I feel like I'm just starting off 2021 on a good note with my first PC build. And it's just so cute. I definitely want to get some more lights, like just to go across the bottom because it's so many lights on the top and in the sides and then nothing at the bottom. So we're definitely gonna to have to get some lights down there. But other than that, I love it. Okay, my hair keeps getting in the fan, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and Go play Animal Crossing to celebrate. I'm so excited. I just, I don't know. This is such a big difference compared to how I ended uh, yesterday. Struggling to get this together. Couldn't figure it out. Things weren't working right. And now look at me. We're all smiles. And we have this beautiful PC. So cute. Let me, let me show you guys my USB drive that I'm going to install Windows on this thing with but let me show you get ready to see the cutest usb drive you've ever seen now go ahead and lie and say you've seen a cuter usb drive you've never seen a cuter usb drive ever in your life and wait you haven't even seen the best part yet it has little toe beans man so cute so cute 
But okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. I'm gonna stare at this for a little longer and then I'm gonna have to go relax and play Animal Crossing and probably edit this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and my forehead is so shiny, but bye. I'm gonna go celebrate. All right, moment of truth. We're going to turn on the PC and see if it boots up on the computer. All right, and as you can see, we have everything turned on and um, I took the glass off of here because my, um, I had to take the glass off of here to pull, take my RAM out to put it back in because for whatever reason, the PC was not talking to the monitor. But once I took out my RAM, put it back in and it started working again. So yeah, we're all set up. Um, I know I need to change the direction of my fans. I just haven't got it, got it. Uh, I just haven't got around to doing it yet. And then I'm also wanting to get some RGB strips for the, the near the bottom, kind of the lower half of the build, just because it looks a little plain. But yeah, that's everything. Also need to get a new wallpaper because this is very boring. Mm -hmm.